what is Indigo about? Indigo is a story about a lot of things. It's about finding people who you want in your life. It's a story about chasing your dreams. It's a story about trauma. It's a story about being a non-binary person in Boston today. In many ways, it's a story about taking control of your life in spite of and because of everything that has happened to you in the past. It's a story about coming into the fullness of yourself even though you've been told that you shouldn't and you can't and it's wrong, whether it was explicit or whether it was just the way people were behaving. It's a very, very, very queer story. Hi, I'm Lama of Homoisi. I'm from Beirut, Lebanon, and I take she, her, hers pronouns. And I'm playing Terry. I think with Terry, even though they're not the most supportive of Indigo, they mean well. That kind of reminds me a lot of people that I've come across along the way. You know, sometimes someone might love you, but they might say things like, pull yourself together, or um, it can't be that bad, or you know, you're, you're being too demanding of people. When it's things about identity, and it's such a struggle just to exist in the world, I don't know, I, I guess I, I started to understand where Terry and where these people in my life we're coming from. They want what's best for for Indigo or for, for me or for, you know, whoever, whoever we're talking about. I think it's important to recognize that not everyone's a villain who doesn't necessarily support Indigo's choices all the way. And it's nice to see the nuances and the gray area. It's not always the easiest to sympathize with characters that aren't perfect or aren't perfectly supportive, but I think it's important to portray them as important as it is to show Indigo. I think the audience is going to identify a lot with Terry because Terry's kind of the in-between. Not exactly the bully, but not exactly, you know, it's in the stage direction, so I don't know if it's gonna be read out loud, but Terry almost calls Indigo by their former name and you know, accidentally send, set, says things that aren't politically correct, that aren't, that are offensive. I think a lot of the audience is going to feel like, oh, I may have done that before, or, you know, kind of have moments where they're going to reflect on how they've been dealing with their friends who don't identify on the binary or are trans, and I think that that's an important wake-up call. So, I'm Blake Pilcher. I use they them pronouns and I am the composer lyricist and I also am producing this reading. Well, first of all, I do want to say that like I really do love everybody on this team, including the cast, including Helvin and Jackie who are doing such a good job. You know, I think that I just feel really lucky that there are so many people that are coming in that are so dedicated to doing the best that they can with this show and with this music and they are telling me about how much they love the music it just validates for me that like it all was worth something that it transformed people in some way this work feels the most representative of my voice as a composer and it feels most representative of my goals as a composer and my goals as a writer and a theater practitioner in general you know like I want to create spaces where LGBT people where non-binary people and trans people have voices and they have stories that they can bring into the theater that aren't stories that focus solely on their transness and that solely focus on their identity but like they're actually characters with a deep arc that goes beyond just that you know and we need more of that kind of representation and that's what I want to bring into theater as well so you know that's that's why I feel like this is really representative of my work too and my goals Hi, my name is River, and I use he, him pronouns, and I'm the book writer of Indigo. I've never had something performed before, especially not by people who, like, know what they're doing, and they're really, like, passionate about what they're doing, and they're incredible at it, like, highly professional, and, like, I'm just, I feel so, like, honored and, like, oh my god, how did this happen? How is this, like, happening? <laughs> 
With LGBT stories, I really like to have something that I call, like, in my own head, I call it like a basic scenario. And so it'd be like unique in how it's told rather than like the actual situation itself because then it just the situation just becomes overwhelming and it takes over but I like things that are very relatable and I feel like Indigo is a very relatable character in many ways like they're very flawed and I love flawed characters that's not a negative thing to me I feel like their flaws is what makes them relatable and how they handle their trauma or don't handle it is relatable and something that we need to start talking about because it can't just sit in and fester inside of us and I feel like that really relates to LGBTQ identities because oftentimes we're forced to just like sit and fester with our identities and not accept ourselves until we finally realize like hey there's nothing wrong with me I'm just different than what I'm supposed to be like compared to like some weird made up rules. Well, I feel like we're extremely lucky, like I was saying before, because I just, I don't know how these people like came into our audition. Like I know <laughs> that Blake is talented and I know like I have faith in our story, but it's still just so unbelievable for me. I'm so happy with who showed up to the auditions and who we ended up choosing for this round of things because they are absolutely killing it and bringing the story to a whole new level and teaching us about the characters that we wrote. And so I think it's such a valuable experience and I'm so grateful to everyone for how much they've contributed. Like Jackie and Kelvin are doing incredible jobs directing it and they're bringing it to life in such a short time period. It's totally impressive <laughs> and totally crazy. <laughs> Jackie and Kelvin gave us feedback early on so that we were able to shift things quickly and now the cast is giving us an opportunity to see what else we can shift and I think that that's so valuable. Like It's more of a community creation rather than just us alone. I don't know if it's because River and I are related or what it is, but I feel like, I feel like there's a certain sense of like, we just know what the other person wants and we don't have to we haven't really had to talk about it which is something that's really not very common in like a lot of um in a lot of writing teams that i read about it feels like ideas have just flown from each of us and we just take them and we just add on to each other and like it feels like we're in an improv scene together because that's i mean and it kind of reminds me of like how we were as kids because as kids we would do like these little improv scenes with each other like we'd call them like what would we call them again like pretend games or something like we yeah. like playing pretend or whatever so we we would do that and we would you know we would have moments where we went like oh pause fast forward rewind or whatever and like we would um you know and we would do these improv things with each other and like bounce feed off of each other and create these really interesting crazy weird stories that were so fun and we loved it so much and so it kind of I think what I really love about working with my brother too is that we get to we get to do that again you know like in to, to some part like that kid part of us that really loved doing that like that that gets to be brought out again um and oh wow okay <laughs> it gets me a little emotional because you know I think that that's like really special to me I, I, I never it never even hit me you know, like how special that is, just that, just that we were able to work so well together and we just, I feel like we've created something really beautiful together, so. Oh, so cute, so cute, so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I have to hug you. Okay. <laughs> hug. <laughs> oh, so cute. It's so true. Put me through the woods. Paperwork, copy your computer.